This country is mining Bitcoin with volcano fire. Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on High Tech Tens. Cryptocurrency is blowing up in the world today, and no country is at the forefront for this new crypto craze other than El Salvador. In fact, the country is a pioneer in the cryptocurrency market, as the country made Bitcoin legal tender back in June. The country now has a visionary new scheme to mine Bitcoin using energy from its active volcanoes. Could this bold initiative solve this country's problem of chronic poverty and silence those against crypto who claim it is dangerous for the environment? Stay tuned and watch the video right till the end. The El Salvadorian president, Nayib Bukele, tweeted a short video clip unveiling his country's glossy new geothermal electricity plant. The brief clip also showed engineers receiving a delivery of shipping containers full of Bitcoin mining rigs and technicians busy installing application-specific integrated circuits, or ASICs. The president's first tweet read, we're still testing and installing. But this is officially the first hashtag Bitcoin mining from the hashtag volcanoes. If you're unaware, back in June, the El Salvadorian parliament passed a law declaring Bitcoin illegal tender in the small Central American nation. The country's other official currency is presently the US dollar. The plan is to help El Salvador ride an international fascination with cryptocurrency and ultimately drive much needed investment in a nation where 70% of the population lack basic access to traditional financial services such as banks. As well as adopting Bitcoin as the legal financial tender, Bukele's government also sets out plans to provide the necessary training and mechanism for all Salvadorans to access and engage in transactions involving Bitcoin. The president is offered tantalizing offers to the world by turning El Salvador into a crypto hub. After his June announcement, he tweeted this recently, quote, I've just instructed the president of La GeoSV, our state-owned geothermal electric company, to put up a plan to offer facilities for hashtag Bitcoin mining with very cheap, 100% clean, 100% renewable, zero emissions energy from all volcanoes. This is going to evolve fast. As if to underline his commitment to the crypto cause, Bukele also changed his Twitter avatar to a doctored photo of himself with laser blue eyes. This is in reference to a popular meme among Bitcoin fanatics. But what is at stake here? Cryptocurrencies currently have a dreadful reputation among environmentally conscious consumers who argue that the carbon footprint of crypto mining is unacceptably high. Bitcoin's energy consumption is related to its hash rate, or the speed at which mismined computers can solve mathematical problems to unlock the next charge of coins. Bitcoin mining is said to burn through some 129 terawatt hours of energy a year. Google's entire net energy usage, by contrast, is a mere 12.4 terawatt hours. Over the past two years alone, Bitcoin mining has added about 40 million tons of CO2 to the atmosphere, which is the equivalent of 8.9 million cars suddenly driving on the road. Bitcoin is already a bigger emitter than American Airlines and is fast catching up with the entire US government's footprint. El Salvador's argument is that volcanic energy is essentially free and doesn't require the burning of fossil fuels. El Salvador is also placed at a strategic location on the Pacific Ring of Fire, and as such, there are plenty of volcanoes. There are at least 20 active volcanoes within its borders, and they already supply at least 5% of the country's digital energy requirements. The country will generate electricity from volcanic heat and use it to power Bitcoin mining rigs. However, the country's progressive approach to Bitcoin has run into teething problems. On September 6th, just one day before it adopted the popular cryptocurrency as legal tender, El Salvador's central bank splashed out on 400 Bitcoin, which was then worth about $21 million. The following day, after the policy was formally rolled out, the price plummeted to its lowest level in nearly a month. It dropped from around $52,000 to a little around $43,000. Still, according to the country's new crypto laws, businesses will have to accept Bitcoin when and where the technology is available. Citizens aren't compelled to use Bitcoin if they don't fancy it, but they are incentivized to do so by the government. There is also the country's own state-backed wallet called Chivo, and any citizen who downloads the app on their phone are instantly rewarded worth $30 of Bitcoin money. Salvadorian citizens are already using the wallet, and President Bukele has declared it a success. According to the reports, over 2 million Salvadorans are using Chivo wallet, and this is not just downloads. The World Bank and IMF, however, have both expressed skepticism at the rollout, arguing that the environmental concerns surrounding Bitcoin remain valid for the time being. Cryptocurrencies are also too volatile for the nation states to peg their solvency on them. Salvadorans are also wary of the situation, saying that high levels of illiteracy in their nation make its population ripe for online scammers and that the country isn't ready to make such a complicated leap in the financial unknown. Moreover, internet access is spotty, with only a portion of the country's population having access to updated devices and fast internet connections. It's not all gloom, though. 
tech firm Athena publicly admitted to investing $1 million, installing as many as 1,500 cryptocurrency ATMs across El Salvador. These ATMs will enable citizens to exchange Bitcoin for cash and vice versa. So as you can see, the country of El Salvador is taking bold steps to making Bitcoin the main currency in the country. Only time will tell whether this is a success or not. That brings us to the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.